Hey guys, welcome to What I Eat Wednesday. I had coffee already and now having my matcha. Again, this is the cherry blossom one, which, yeah, it does not have that kind of fishy taste that usually with green tea I don't like. Um, however, it has sweetener in it. I was talking to my friend who has like pure matcha and she says she does have to put like a little bit of stevia in it because otherwise, yeah, it's just too bitter. Um, so maybe I'll work my way to that one, but in the meantime, I do enjoy my kind of flavored David's tea ones because they taste really good. Mm. Delicious. All right, so what am I doing today? My dress fitting actually got moved to later on in the week, which is fine. Um, but then that just, yeah, the person texted me this morning saying, can we move it? So now I'm like, all right. I'm switching up my day, but that's fine. Uh, I have a long teaching evening again until like 8 o'clock, so that's okay. Um, but yeah, so I was gonna have this and maybe make something for breakfast, maybe not. We shall see. <laughs> so for lunch, not having anything, anything too, too exciting, but doing a veggie egg wrap. So I have, I don't have too many veggies, but we have some red onions as well as some uh, orange pepper. Maybe I'll see if I can add any other veggies. Alright, so now doing a little bit of uh, scrambled eggs. I have my veggie fit eggs and then I did some Cajun spice. Alright, so I have two pieces of lettuce, the um, veggies, and then a little bit of tzatziki. And then now going to add my eggs in somehow. Eggs, come on. It's like... Really? Come on! There we go, that's looking more promising. <laughs> I should really have more veggies and filling, but oh well. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna eat them, and then relax a little bit, then I do have to get ready for work, do makeup and everything. For dinner, I've decided, I think now I'm gonna make a chili, but now I found this. We're gonna do curried lentil soup with spicy cauliflower because we have about a half cauliflower that probably has to be eaten up shortly um, and we always have lentils and yeah so looks good oh, I'm on my way to teaching now I have my chai vanilla tea and what I've been actually since Friday when one of my co-workers had mentioned it um, we were saying how we always put like the unsweetened almond milk, but we end up doing, she's like, I put about a quarter cup in with my coffee or tea, and I'm like, yeah, so why? Um, so anyway, she said she has this. Yes, it has some sugar in it, so it's not as healthy, um, but you only need a little bit, and it makes it last a lot longer. So now it's true, because usually I go through like a carton of my almond milk like every week and a half, just for me, <laughs> and now it's still like half of the thing left. So anyways, having that, plus it tastes really good. Dan made pizza, but thankfully I'm off to work now. I've already brushed my teeth, so I will not be tempted <laughs> to have pizza. Um, the only thing with this is that um, you have to make sure you stir it really well, otherwise it just settles in the bottom, and then, I don't know if you can see it, but then you have like a line. I noticed that at work yesterday. Anyways, and then I have a half hour break before my last class, um, so I'm bringing some mint tea. Really, I should bring like, Boom, like lots of coffee, but oh well. Uh, this mint tea. Alright, see you guys later. And Dan said, yes, we'll start making the lentil soup. Yay. I'm back from work and Dan has done a good job with the soup. It looks as the picture looks. This is the soup. Nice and brown. And this is the picture. Also nice and brown. He put in vegetables, we didn't have everything, like we didn't have carrots, and I was like, meh, we have most stuff. Um, so onions, garlic, maybe ginger, maybe not, um, and then a whole bunch of spices. It's definitely curried spice or um, cumin, we probably didn't have coriander, but we did have turmeric, cloves, yes, veggie stock, lentils. Did you put tomato sauce in it? I took something out of the freezer. I didn't say that, but I was hoping you would find it. So yes, you did. All right, let's try this. And then we are gonna make um, a, what should we call it? Some cauliflower. 
Mmm. Mmm. It's actually really good. Not that I doubt it, but it's just all brown looking. Mmm. So. Delicious. Mmm. Yum. All right. So for our cauliflower, we are going to cut it into small florets and then get a saute pan. So we have the cauliflower and we're gonna put it in pan with a little bit of oil. We're gonna cook it for four minutes. Actually, I'm gonna uh, do some salt and pepper. And yes, cook it for about four minutes. So the cauliflower is slightly brown. Now I'm going to add a half cup water and hot sauce. Ooh. And then they say cover it or stir quickly and then cover it right away. Ooh. Spicy. And then we're gonna cook that and let it boil for another five, four or five minutes. So it's definitely steaming. So now we're gonna take this off. No, steam burn. Nope. Uh -oh. And then just let the rest of the water evaporate. Actually, there's not too, too much water. Good. Now, you get to serve up. This doesn't look appetizing, but I swear it is. Mm -hmm. Lentil soup. And look at all these leftovers. And then, There we go. That was really good. The soup had pretty good flavor. Um, and then the cauliflower pieces, they were like soft, but then, I don't know, they just were really good. They still could have been a little bit more spicy. Um, I guess it was trying to simulate I don't know, chicken or uh, I don't know. But it was very good. It was delicious. And tons of leftovers too. So that is it today. I'll see you guys next week on 1-8 Wednesday. Bye.